Good morning! You guys may remember this outfit from my try-on, and she's coming out with me today. Uh, there's quite a lot of... I was going to try and show you my outfit, <laughs> but it's so messy. Remember, I told you I was struggling with that, but that's all right. That's all right. It turned out really cute. I'm wearing it with my white boots. I am headed somewhere really exciting today. I am going to the freaking YouTube headquarters. What? She left me lonely. Now I see her in my dreams. Yeah, she's so holy. Me back in on my Absolutely. Okay, so right off the bat, here are the colors that we received. We have green, we have yellow on both sides and synchronicity. It's hard to believe. She was the only. Now I feel so incomplete. Yeah, she left me. is that it's long wear, but it also just looks like your skin. It doesn't look like you're wearing- I can see that already. Right? What, how much cover, like what's the coverage So I would say it's, it's meant buildable. to look like skin, so it's buildable. Okay, so but it can I, get up to like pretty decent coverage? Yes, more medium. Okay, this is so is good. <laughs> I just can't. I look can't at open. how, this is unreal. Yay! Okay, I am obsessed. We just did our these drop stick. So good. I'm gonna try it in real life and um, I will let you guys know how it is because you know how I feel about my foundations. It's a struggle. And this looks amazing. It really does. Yes. It's there's four new ones which okay. are really great. Um, we launched a Barbie shade, but that one, this the is our new Barbie oh shade. God, like, it's stunning. called Pretty Hot. Yeah, it's so that. stunning and it's a plumper. Yeah, so wow. She's gonna give it a plump vibe. Okay, I'm home now. Listen, it was quite a day. Oh my gosh. Um, I didn't talk to you guys a bunch because we were like learning. We were in sessions and like breakout, but they were just explaining about like how like the technology works, like how the, how it works like from the back end. And like we heard from, it was actually very cool. I will say to be in a space with a lot of big creators, like some I followed for a while, some I were new to me, but just to like be around that energy was really cool. Um, as you guys know, I've been on here for a while, but I haven't been super connected to like YouTube itself for a long time. And um, as far as like, like I go to things, for example, at, I've gone to like workshops with TikTok and like Instagram and like uh, I've had like calls with people at Pinterest. Like as a creator, we do like generally have interface with a lot of these um, social media platforms like on the back end but I haven't done anything with YouTube for a long time. So it was like really cool to like get to be in their space. They have this really cool like giant old airplane hangar space that they work out of and it's very cool. And it was just like a fun day. It was a fun day. I got to meet a lot of really cool, like I said, creators. Usually in LA here when I go into a space like this, I'm gonna sit on the floor. Let's have a floor chat. You guys are very high up. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have done this. Um, what I'm getting at here, P.S., is that they gave us a giant bag and I thought we could unbox it together. Um, so anyway, um, but usually when I come into a space in L.A., like if it's um, an event with other creators or like people in this space at all, generally I know like a good chunk of the people there just because like you see them at events year after year and like you know like I know several people and so this was like the first day I walked in I did not know a single soul and there was like probably like 150 people there and it felt a little intimidating which it often does and I've shared that with you guys before um I did not give myself ample time to get ready today like I kind of like I literally didn't know what I was gonna wear I'm gonna pull you guys closer um and I like gave myself no time to do my hair and makeup 
And I just like don't love when I do that. But I'm also giving myself grace that like it's been a lot lately. And I'm doing the best I can. Um, but I felt a little intimidated. And then I, of course, I find it's like really special and cool. It's like you see who you gravitate towards. And then like, have you guys ever been in spaces where you meet like you're meeting a lot of new people at once and it can be a bit overwhelming and you also kind of like for me it kind of sends me into this like just a very a place of very like self-awareness of like aware of like what i'm wearing and like it just me i don't know it just makes me feel i guess insecure in some way and just like kind of like unsure but i feel like i connected with some really cool people early on that i'm like when i'm in a big space like that and i have to like navigate a lot of new personalities i kind of trust my intuition to tell me like this person feels good or safe or like i love using fashion as like an icebreaker because if i see somebody something that i love or like if i get a compliment it's just such an easy in for a conversation and that's one of the reasons i really advocate for styling yourself in a way that tells your story to some degree um because i think that it can be like a little bit of like a blip people see you and they kind of get a, a vibe of a sense of like your personality or your aura we did the aura readings and so they explained to me all the different things about my aura i think that i filmed some of it but i wish i would have filmed more i'm gonna grab that and show it to you and then i'm gonna unbox this here's my little aura pick wait focus on her there we go here's my little aura pick so they told me about what the different like colors in my aura meant um and so she was saying i guess to the guy today there was two people and so one of them was saying to the other we don't we haven't seen yellow for a really long time and then she's like and then your picture came out and it's so much yellow and so i was like well what does yellow mean well let me tell you yellow is optimistic enthusiastic open-minded loves variety and freedom generous and playful which you know I'm not gonna toot my own horn, but I kind of think, <laughs> kind of. Okay, and then we've got green, which is growth, goal-oriented, determined, focused, ambitious, competitive, and perfectionist. Ooh, I just got called out. I didn't even, I didn't even know. Mm, that comes out a lot for me, if you haven't noticed. Well, actually, you may not notice because I put very imperfect things up here, but I do talk a lot about how hard it is for me to like allow my whole messy house and like all of it to show all the time because i just like yeah i have that in me for sure and then the other color that was super um prominent was turquoise which means solid nature high awareness strong boundary role model inner purity don't know about that one <laughs> justice and fair so well, i don't know anyway but so the one thing that really i did think was super interesting is that she was saying another thought thing that she noticed that wasn't super common was that white if you can see like around my like th like this area there was like a ball of white and she said that it's a higher consciousness high vibration destiny intense energy cosmic wisdom so she was saying that like if you have a big ball around your throat chakra like there's something that you need to voice or that hasn't yet come to fruition that you're kind of trying to make a decision on and that you need to like trust your inner self and your inner guidance like trust your intuition around whatever that decision might be and that really resonated with me and i don't even know what it means exactly yet but i do feel like i've been feeling called for a while to like move my content in a new direction as far as like incorporating more of this kind of stuff like the stuff that i like talking about more heartfelt stuff and i haven't quite figured out like what that looks like yet and just also finding ways to connect more with you all and to connect you all with each other because i think there's so many beautiful women that i get to share this space with and so many of us are going through the same things and so many of us like can relate to each other in that way like i feel like we have this little like online girl gang but like we don't actually get to interact with one another so i feel like it would be very cool and special if i could find ways to do that so it's something that i've been trying to like figure out and i'm wondering if that's what that's about <laughs> this this so i don't know but it's just fun to have this i actually have one from several years ago framed in this other room that i got done with girlfriends of mine um we all went and did it together and i have that one framed it's just like really cute so i'm gonna put this one like on there too and they're kind of different every time but i don't know if you guys know about this stuff and i don't know like i don't know the scientific like you know stuff behind it but i do believe in like auras and i do believe in like the energy vibrations that we carry and that we you know like just the energetic patterns and energy fields around us and stuff like that look who's here hi i wish emily could have come with me yesterday but they didn't <laughs> let us bring anybody it's fine it was a very cool event and i was just showing emily the bag and we decided we're going to do an unboxing together because i think her reaction in it will be really fun um i wish i could give them all the updates on your life it's fine there's a lot of fun things happening in there, but... <laughs> 
so yeah we're gonna get into it and then i figured if there was anything you guys wanted to see like demonstrated whether it's like a beauty item i don't even know what's in here exactly um we could do a separate video trying that there's also some clothes which i'll stand up and try on after um but let's get into it this is cute oh i didn't even realize it was adidas it is, they were just flowers no isn't it so They're the cute adidas logo Wait, yeah so it's so cute oh so we're gonna link everything here because we're trying to get used to the new youtube shopping like mm -hmm. thing which I think it's gonna be helpful for us because as I do hauls, like a lot of times I've noticed that you guys will come back and be like, oh wait, where's the link for this dress? And it's like, it's hard to keep track. Yeah. And it's just like so much like to put them in the link. It feels like a lot and it's more difficult. So I'm hoping this is helpful. I'd love to know you guys' opinion on like if it is helpful. Um, I, we tested it out on the beauty video mm -hmm. with the timestamp. So it's like when I'm using that product, you could- It should pop up. Yeah. yeah. So like, let us know if that's helpful. Um, I feel like for me it's important that I don't like this isn't a shopping channel per se and I don't really want it to become one but I do want to make it easy for you guys to find the things that you see and like so we are open to feedback we're also open to feedback if you do want more shopping stuff like do you want gift guides do you want like what's helpful what's not whatever um as I move into trying on I just saw my nail on the floor <laughs> Did I tell you guys what happened with my nails? I couldn't. I have one left on this finger. This is a very cute Adidas bag. I would so use this for the gym, like just to throw my little gym stuff in. Like it's so cute. I think it's also cute for like a little weekend. It is really cute. Really like if I'm going to the cabin for a night, which I do pretty often. I'm also, I'm just really obsessed with this. It's so cute. When you are on a trip and you want, and you bring back more than you came with. Oh, and you yeah, need something that you can yeah. pack and that will, it's so lightweight that can go on top yeah. and doesn't take any room. And then when you get there, you can use it Feel as this. Like That's my, That's one of my one. Many toxic traits. That. This I've Christmas. seen all over like TikTok ads. Okay, yes, that's why like, I wanted to know. I've seen it, it's like where you don't actually have to curl your hair, yeah. you just click the button Should and it try goes. It? I've like- You actually need to do your hair anymore. Fun fact. Don't you have to do your I hair? I haven't curled my hair since high school. And if I could get this open, that would be amazing. What, can you talk to us about what do you mean you haven't curled your so, hair So like I did show choir in high school and so like we- But always, what do you, how do you do your hair, you only blow it out? I just blow it out and then when I, hold on. So like I blew it out straight last night you guys, and I'm feeling I, offended by Emily's hair. <laughs> I blew it out straight last night and I wanted it to stay straight, but that wasn't gonna happen. So I just like put it in that little like twisty knot and then it, it sets in like these. And my hair is dark right now, but it looks like it sets in these like Makes me feel curly Ill. curls. I've got these little frail wisps that turn into yeah. a snow globe when I so much as touch them. <laughs> And you just like throw it up in a thing and it looks like yeah. that. The only things I ever have to fix are these bangs and I knew they're, neat, they're getting cut soon, but I hate these little bits right now, but. I'm happy for you, but it also makes me unwell because I'm jealous. Emily has the best hair, you guys, like what? It's one of my favorite like things about me, I will say. Okay, that makes me feel emotional. That's so nice. You I can say that about yourself. My hair. Okay, I love this. We're gonna play a game right now, okay. and I want you to name three things that you like about yourself. I'll do the same, and then everyone who's watching this, like you are physical? challenged to. Doesn't matter. Okay. I think we should do. I feel like we don't talk about the physical enough. Yeah, because I feel like it's so easy to say the other. Yeah, so I this challenge is two physical things you like about yourself and one non-physical for those that are struggling with this. So. Um, you go first. So physical, we've got your like freaking amazing hair. hair. And I like my eyes. She has beautiful eyes. And non-physical, I think I'm really funny. <laughs> <laughs> and, and she's humble too. <laughs> I like my sense of humor, I think is, is good. Okay, okay, that's great. Uh, she is funny. I was like, you it's can't deny dark humor. it. It's a dark humor. Okay, this is pretty. We got this open by the oh, way. Oh, it's a tiny one. But this oh, is what I that's need. That's little, yeah. This is what I need. Oh my gosh, this is cool. It goes either way. I feel like I might get some use out of that. But what's this with your food? Because you like, look, look, look. I think you like You clamp, wrap and then clamp? You just like take the bottom of your hair at this part. Should we plug part? it in and give it a go? You literally just clamp this and it just... And then... And this stays clamped. So, you just, so do you not clamp the very end if you don't? Well, you, I think curled. you put as much as you want. Like if you don't, but like will it this make much, a crease? I don't know. I don't think so. Because when you this use, sounds like a miracle. When you use like, a but all it really saves you is like this. The but like that's carpal tunnel, babe. We act the muscle. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it saves you the spin time. Like we will link this. But I've heard I've also seen this all over the internet. 
and I've seen a lot of people like really like like it um so yeah this is the beach waver b1 in the color midnight rose and this would probably be a really great holiday gift but yeah i will we will link this um if you guys want me to like do a trial of it i definitely will but i've heard amazing things about it i actually got to meet the creator of this company if you guys saw i don't think i did vlog my behind the scenes swab but i went on set with swab and barbie and like got to do this really fun campaign when the barbie movie came out and uh sarah potempa who is a celeb make a celeb hairstylist she created this company with her sisters and so she was telling me about what it was like to start it etc and i was like fangirling and i was like you're cool these are oh I, no this packaging kind of looks like tart i totally thought it was tart but it's not it's ulta uh, is it this like i don't know it like reminds me of the maracuja stuff yeah but it's so like lip oh, oils yeah. from oh i love lip oil what's it called from ulta they're ulta brand i've never used ulta brand beauty before me neither have you no we've got a clear like a blue like i think the blue is also just like a clear, clear. And then like these two more like pinky like neutrally ones um we will link this as well we should also pick a few things um in here to give to one of our oh my god yeah that'd be one fun. of our bffs guys we're gonna like make a little gift bag for you out of the stuff i think this is we're gonna put That's lip cute. oil in there it's these are really cute we're gonna put lip oils we're gonna set aside a few goodies for you guys um this is everyday lotion with an spf 30. oh i love super group this is one of my favorite sunscreen brands um it's amazing um what are but i'm trying to figure out which one i think this is just like the everyday yes this is just our everyday it has sunflower extract that's cool i just think we all need sunscreen and um super goop makes great sunscreen and i've been using it for since it's come out so it's been like a few years so that what else you got this is like so lit this is like all the tart mascaras in a pack no way plus an ulta gift card of an unknown amount and the mac lipstick and chili it's like a dark deep red oh, i, love I this remember color. this color yeah oh my gosh it's so pretty that's so cool. um this is a beautiful um i feel like this is like a red that would look good on everyone yeah it's yeah, not yeah. too dark it's and it's like, like perfect for engine, fall yeah. so yeah okay mac chili but i want to see this i'm obsessed the with this mascaras. idea of the mascaras it's like <gasps> Ooh, you have to open this one it's fun okay oh my gosh this is amazing so this is 44 dollars, but it's a hundred dollars if you were to buy each mascara individually that's crazy that's like literally like over half off um have you guys tried the tart mascaras what is this double take oh they also have an eyeliner with it oh. perfect oh my gosh this is cool we love a mascara gift set this would be a great holiday my sister's so into mascara oh, like, really? she just loves mascara her eyelashes are like one of her best features i just always give her a different mascara every holiday so she can try different ones <laughs> she's always loved um too faced better than sex but i just yeah i don't know like i i tried it again recently and like i liked it and then i didn't i'm so weird i'm so fickle with mascara mm -hmm. like i'll love it and then i'm not sure but right now i love my tower 29 it is probably my favorite <laughs> she loves her tower 28 mascara gotta go <laughs> uh whatever <laughs> This is awesome. No, this Fenty is Fenty Gloss Bomb. This is the Fenty Gloss Bomb. I am a big, huge fan, actually, of the Fenty Gloss Bomb and Heat. This is the cream one, but like the heat is like a little plumper. -ness, but it's like a thicker formula, and I think it stays on really well. I've never used the cream. But yeah, I haven't either. I just honey waffles. It's called honey waffles. And a I love that formula than the other yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. I wonder if it's like kind of a clear or more of like a pigmented. I'm assuming it's maybe a clearish over top I, wonder, I wish they put like the the differences of i know them. gloss bomb cream oh nourish maybe cream means like like more like moisturizing. moisturizing okay well if you haven't tried the fenty beauty gloss bombs they're just so good I they know. are so good one of my biggest like sadnesses is that i had like it was like the nudish glittery kind of one oh, yeah i don't remember what the uh, name was it was if you said it, I might Fenty know Glow, I think, maybe. maybe. Well, it's gone, and, like, I've never stopped thinking about it. And, like, I just feel so silly buying makeup because I do have so much and get so much. But, man, I always think about it because it's, like, very hard for me to find, like, a top glosser that I really like. Right now, I do love my one from Rare Beauty that's also now missing. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. There's that pixie one that we just got oh, that yeah. I have on right now that I'm really, like, it's a little bit plumping. It's got, like, a little oh, bit of, like, tingle. minty tingle to it. And then, there's the other one. I love the Merit, the one that I shared with you guys a while ago. I like that one a lot, too. But, like, honestly, these are the best. Oh, I haven't either. But I'm still, oh, my gosh, that's the Fenty Skin Body what Butter. Oh. It's, like, the Body I Butter. smell her. Ooh, yeah, give her a whiff. Unpopular opinion. Maybe it's a popular opinion. I don't 
like unscented body things. Oh yeah, we were talking about this the other day the because I got um, a body lotion from first and it this was non- wonderful. Yeah? Like you love? if I'm putting body cream on, like I wanted to add to my- This what smells is, really nice. There was a TikTok where it was like, the way to smell good all the time is like layering scents. And so I'm like, mm. I want to be just- Oh, we really got nice. a sneak peek at the holiday gift sets from Fenty. And they mm. have one of these that smells like a, she said, this is a very fun story about Rihanna. She said that she wanted, when she was going to her product development team, they're making like mini versions of this that have like a holiday scent and it smelled like cinnamon, like not cinnamon, like Christmas cookies, I guess. Oh. And she said she wanted it to smell like Mrs. Claus's kitchen. And the development oh, team you. came up with a scent and we got to smell it yesterday. And I'm like, I want it. That's cool. But this is their original one and it smells really it smells nice. It smells really nice. It does smell really nice. And I've heard that her like skin products are like really nice. So we will link that one. And then this is Fenty Skin. Oh, cookies and clean. Jump. Whipped clay detox facial mask, mint chocolate chip edition. I think this is one of their holiday ones or else it's just special. <laughs> A mint chocolate chip mask for your face? Get real. That's my favorite ice cream flavor. Mint chocolate chip. When I was growing up, yeah. It does smell like mint chocolate oh, chip. Oh, it's like a heavy. And it's, look, and it's got like um, little bits of like black that I'm assuming would be like little bits of like exfoliator oh that look like chocolate chips in it. That's cute. These lip oils smell so good. They smell oh, like we candy. love lip oils. Remember? They're the Fenty Beauty lip oils. They're really oh, good. Oh, this is the holiday this stuff. This one is melon treat and the other one's cherry treat. And this like smells like candy. Like I want to eat it. Like it smells so good. Oh, it's so it smells like a fruit snack. And I love the applicator. It's similar to like, you know, that Dior lip oil one that like went okay. viral. I don't know if they can say, but it looks like that fatty. Like, it does look applicator. like the Dior lip oil applicator. Okay. So they did show us this. It's a special holiday edition from Fenty Beauty. And this is what God, it smells so, good. I just so like, freaking good. I'm obsessed. Okay. So what they said about it. Oh, and Barbados cherry. Cause uh, Rihanna's from, isn't she from Barbados? I so. I thought so too. Oh, oh did you smell the cherry one? Oh my god, it smells like candy. It, really it smells like so good. Look at up. the cute little cherries on it. And the thing is, this is what the I met the sweetest makeup artist that works for Fenty Beauty, and he Barbados. was yes, right. and he was saying that the this is like a great giftable item because it has this little like um it's basically like a friendship thing like you get it you rip it in half you can give one to someone else one to someone else or one keep one and give one away so a lot of their gift sets have this little like perforated line so that you get it and you can keep one and give one or you can split that one gift into like multiple gifts for people which i always love personally when you can like because i love to like do little multiple gifts for my friends so i'll give them like a lip gloss and a candle and something else and so if you get like multiples that's the move like you know how they have like starbucks gift cards that come in those multi-packs mm -hmm. like i always do like the multi-pack thing i don't know if that's just me another super goop unseen sunscreen this is one of my favorite facial sunscreens i'll just show it to you guys i think i've talked about it before oh i don't know why it's not showing but it's clear it comes out as like a completely clear gel it almost feels like a skin like a primer like a makeup primer. It feels like the Smashbox Photo Ready it does. primer. It does. Like that silicone aspect. Yeah. I don't think there's silicone in it. This I just like the packaging. Ooh, flash facial. It's the Ole Hendrickson oh, Dewtopia. I've heard about this. Or Ole I, Hendrickson, unsure how to pronounce it. I think it's... Ole. 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 Okay. I think. Ole um, I love any kind of like flash facials. Like that one, I always use the Yerba Mate one from Youth to the People. Oh, that's hot. Okay. That one, and then also like the elephant, uh, drunk elephant oh. baby skin. Ooh. Those ones that take off that layer of your skin. Because right now I've got like a crusty layer on my forehead, and my skin starts to build up at some point. And then when I do one of these, like it takes that top layer oh, yeah, yeah. so that your makeup sits better. So it's like a baby. Yes. A so I'm assuming that this is it because it has AHAs, P chase and scandinavian oh, rowan berry extract i figured nobody knew what that was i didn't i don't know what a rowan berry extract no is. but we will share this one because it seems like it might be a great option if you yeah have that stuff if you guys want us to like do any demos or try any of these things let us know so <gasps> it comes like that's like literally okay this is like the best the gift ever wonderful. this is the holy freaking grail I love it's so, so cute this is from benefit and Benefits the best. They're they're they're. Uh, the, 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 I was trying to say they're their real mascara, but like the the their real mascara that they make was my old favorite for sure. Um, but this one has Bad Gal Bang, their real Roller Lash, and Fan Fest full sizes and minis. So three full sizes, one minis in this tube. It's so cute, and it's called the Nice List lashes. Um, my little sister Emma does not 
do social media really so she doesn't watch my channel so she's not gonna know that i'm giving her this for christmas now <gasps> um because she is the match she's the girl that loves mascara so i feel like she would be so into this because i just think this would be such a great gift for yeah. her she's a mascara queen what's your favorite benefit mascara um they're real has been my used oh. to be my favorite because they look false and years ago sure. i would wear mine into the ground but i have gone through like a phase with that i went through a phase with um the ysl mm -hmm. which i love um i went through a phase with now i'm into the tower 28 right um what's your favorite mascara of all time all time i think it's either the telescopic waterproof one or the bang mascara <gasps> the bag so out bang in good. there. It's so good. Okay. This is the best setting spray on the market, by the way. It's a bold claim. It's a really, really, really bold claim. But I'm I so glad that she's it. here to tell us everything about this because I could this not have done this so without good. you. This is the more. I, this I've is heard a, about this it. This is a packaging. I, I don't have this packaging. This looks like different, but Prep it's and the set. same. It's so good. This and the Milani setting spray are like neck and neck the best setting sprays I think ever on the market. That's a huge, this. that is a bold claim. I've tried so many too. Emily has tried so a lot good. and she goes out to the club. I, she goes out dancing. True. I put her makeup the sweats test. off. And you think this is and the I best? And I think it's the best. Okay, we're gonna definitely link I this one. I think it's the best too for all skin types. Okay. And I have like really dry skin and it works really, really well. Okay, but and you can prep skin with it as well. I do it like, I'll like put on my foundation and then spray it let it soak and then I'll finish off my own. I do it I pretty much and then you do after, it after every as well. Step. Yeah. If I really want it to last. It okay, I can't wait really to well. try this then. 10 out of 10. Oh my gosh. Wow. Well, we're like getting down. We, we are getting like down to the thing we can. We can. We have another Ole Henriksen strength trainer strength trainer peptide boost moisturizer, which if you guys haven't tried the Ole Henriksen line, it is legit. Um but it's so hard with skincare cuz there's so many different products and yeah. That was scary. What what is it? I thought it was like a roller ball, but it's not. It's oh, a Fenty. That's for, the same. Yeah. I was just telling it's you. It's gorgeous. I have yet to smell it yet. Oh my gosh. Okay. They let us like I got to smell this yesterday and I look first of all the bottle's beautiful. Mm -hmm. The main bottle's like brown, like it's really sexy. But it smells like it you'll know. It's very much my vibe. Do you want me to put it on me so that in case you don't like it? Sure. You won't smell like it because you are the one that has a life, not me. <laughs> that's not true. <laughs> but sometimes also I completely forgot to tell you guys what I liked about myself. Oh my god, yeah. Oh my god, this is me. Because it's like kind of like moody. Okay, let me see. Because you're moody? <laughs> moody and dark, I just said. You know what I mean? It smells... Isn't it kind of like me, though? Mature. Like, it smells like a refined woman. I think it smells like a little mysterious and sultry. Like, yeah. like now there's like more of like the fruity notes coming out. Yes, this is how I picture... I'm into this and I'm keeping this for myself. Don't take offense to this. This is how I picture like... um. The queen of Genovia, like Julie Andrews, just smell like. That's a high, high compliment. I'll tell, okay, I'll tell Rihanna. Because I don't want so. it to like, I'm like not an old lady, but like a also, very expensive. When she says her own name, she elegant. says Rihanna. She does. And so I should probably it's start Rihanna. calling her Rihanna. I'm sorry. It's okay. But I think that that's how Rihanna smells. So what is this? Oh, it's Disney packaging. I didn't recognize it. This is the Kat Von D tattoo eyeliner. Also a great Very one. good. I also, this. This is good. waterproof eyeliner set. A tattoo copper? liner and a pencil liner. Oh, so it's like both. Oh. Again, it has the perforated lines, another great gift set. If you were needing a liquid liner and you wanted a little gift or vice versa. I used to use this uh, Kat Von D tattoo, tattoo liner like for a while um, and it's really good. It's a very it precise on. tip. It stays on. It's great if you want the very, very tiny little cat eye, like just barely seen, which is what I like. This oh. such a throwback. Benetton. I love Benetton. I loved Benetton. I like, really loved Benetton. Did you guys ever use Benetton? I got it in like the birthday gift at yeah. Sephora. And it came with like the great lash yeah. and the liquid Yeah. Did it also come with a little dandelion thing? It did. Like I remember using it to the ground. Look at her. It's I love so her. Cute. She so is good. so good. It's still like a classic. It's so good. I do love it. Look, they have this cute little thing inside. Laughter is the best cosmetic. That's cute. <laughs> What's that? These are these go with the beach waver. This is a shine squad and a great barrier. So like a heat protectant. Oh, heat protect like okay. Finisher, I, I need a heat protectant for travel. We oh. were on my girls trip this last weekend and not once, not twice, three of the girls asked me if I had heat protectant spray and I didn't. And I feel like 
they must think that I'm the one that has everything. And then I felt like I'd let them down. And I was like, well, I don't have a travel size one because I'm a carry-on queen. <laughs> so I will definitely put this in my travel size. I have a whole bin, you guys, of all my favorite like travel size products that I like pack for every trip. But a shine spray, also welcome. Oh, okay. Things I like about myself physically. Please. This is hard sometimes. I think I think I like my face sometimes. I you look great nose. Okay, so I was gonna say I do think I have a cute nose. You have a very cute nose. I think I have pretty good eyebrows. Also true. Like the shape of them yeah. is really nice. Yeah. And you have pretty eyes. Yeah. And I have pretty eyes. Yeah. Um we just stare into our blue eyes each other. Yeah. We stare at each other and yeah. our deep blue eyes all we day do, long. We do. Uh, I also have I have liked my lips before too. Like some guy good lips. And okay, so that was a lot. Okay, that was a lot me. of physical. Um, Non-physical. I also think I'm very funny. True. Um, also, I just think I have a kind heart. Like I do think I never want anyone to be sad, and I do think I have like a lot of empathy. And I think that that can be a beautiful trait. It can also be exhausting because it makes me cry all the time, but it's fine. Okay. These so are the same here? thing, but it's a lip. Uh, lip lippy sticks. Thing. Okay. Oh, and they're both oh snap. Not. Well then, one of you is definitely getting one of these. I'm putting it, we are gonna create a little goodie bag. Oh, so in order to enter this thing that I just made up, um, <laughs> we are going to ask you to answer the question that we already did. So name two physical things you like about yourself and one non-physical, and that will be your entry for a little random goodie bag. And we'll just pull together like some stuff from here, some other stuff that I got, we'll just put together, we'll use our intuition and put together a little goodie bag that we will send out to somebody. Mm -hmm. um, um, I guess we'll give the video a week. So yeah. after this goes live, we will do, we'll, in one week, we will pick a winner. So comment um, if you want to enter. Yeah. All okay. official roles will be down in the description. Yeah, she'll do like that. So. <laughs> oh, okay. Also, we have just these very cute gold hoops um, from Nordstrom. Just like plain gold hoops, which I think everyone might want, which I might put in our our little bag. Wow. Looks like some of, it looks like, I think there are. Oh, it's this like is Gilly Heads, which is like oh, the Abercrombie I brand. Love, yeah. yeah. Not the Gilly Heads. Oh, this sorry. is um, extra large, which is good. They are like um, liquidy leggings that have like a flare bottom. So. Oh, this is Gilly Heads too. These are cute. Flare bottom little shiny. Okay, here's the one thing I will say. These, like I've had these shiny leggings before, but I've never seen them in a flare. Oh, they're a flare. They're a flare. I think you might want them. I don't know. I've never thought. This is a fun puffer. Oh, that's cute. I really you. Like Where's that from? It's from Gilly Hicks as well. Oh my gosh, it's cute. Like a this too, is so cute. Really it looks like, like it's almost like iridescent yes, or something. Yes, it's like curly. Oh, she's cute. I like. I'm putting her on over my robe to see if she fits. This is the try on portion. She's, I know. Like, she's gonna do it sitting down. I'm gonna do it sitting down because I feel really lazy. <laughs> this is cute. It fits. Cute. I'm just shocked because I feel like there was like so much excitement in it. Fits. <laughs> it was because lately I feel like nothing does. <laughs> <laughs> I can't tell how much of it is in my head and how much of it is real. Real life. Yeah. Do you ever guys feel that way where you're like? You can't tell if your body's actually changed or if it's just in your mind, which since I don't weigh myself, it doesn't help, but like. But I feel like sizing is like literally getting crappier. It's crappier. getting crazier by the minute, man. Oh, is this everything? <gasps> oh, she's so, she's so beautiful. So okay, should I stand up? No. Maybe we should do it. You can stand. Look at how this is cute. This is so. She's beautiful. She's, she's like elegant. She is beautiful. She She's like buttery soft. Oh my gosh, yes, this oh is so goodness. cute and soft. This is from Abercrombie. It is a cable knit and it's so beautiful. It's like so soft. Um, I just, for me, a, a cream cable knit is like a winter must. I wear them all the time. You know how much I love them. What did you find? <gasps> the, tr the trousers. I did see them yesterday, but I have not tried them on. 33. I feel like that's what I used to order, but. Do they look small? These look small, y'all. I can't. This looks small. Come on. They kind of do. Like, my hip is It's here, weird because like, the trousers that I had last year were extra large when they used to, like, it was just like a small, medium, large, short. extra large. I'm sure they're going to be short. But these are, like, the famous trousers. Yeah, they, oh, which so is so nice that they did give us yeah. the size that I'm sure we requested. But, like, they do look pretty they're small. They do look really small. I feel like the Abercrombie sizes has been changing a little bit, but these are like the trousers of all time. We are gonna do a full trouser video for you guys, yeah. which is why I'm not trying these on. But like, I can't believe, I'm saying like, I think I manifested these. Like that's wild, because I've been talking about them nonstop. 
This is a very classy woman's sweater. Ooh, this is, this is a classy woman's sweater. It's soft. It feels like, it feels like it's a cashmere or something. That is the energy it's giving. 100% cashmere. I got a cashmere freaking sweater. Oh my god. I feel expensive. Gorge. Oh my gosh. It's oh my so soft. Okay, this is amazing. Nordstrom cashmere sweater, elegante. When I hear that word, I think of like Eloise, where she goes like, Trey elegante. And I like just die because I love Eloise so much. <laughs> She's a real one. It's a dream of mine to stay in the Eloise suite. But they where is it? At the Pleasant Hotel. They have an Eloise suite? New York. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They actually have one they at the Hotel. They actually have an actual Eloise um, suite. These are going to be tiny, I would imagine. Oh my god, but they're so freaking cute. Maybe they'll fit you. They're kind of stretchy. We got to be kidding. Those are so They might fit cute. you. I love them. Emily loves these. Can we? They're so... I love anything that looks like a cargo pant. Like, these are actually I die really for cute. a cargo pant. Okay, go try them on. Okay. You can go off camera. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> hey, there's this uh, blazer. This is by Carrie Rosenthal. So this is like... Aqua is the in-house brand for Bloomingdale's. And they have these blazers that are a limited edition um, breast cancer research one. So they have... I don't know if it's actually... Just, I should read about it. It is... For every piece sold, Bloomingdale's will donate 10% of the purchase price to the Breast Cancer Research Foundation through 1031. So the artist is Carrie Rosenthal, and she does these. She's like known for these like kind of like doodly things. So the little elbow patches on here are hearts, and I just think it's really cute. It's giving Chanel tweed blazer. Very cute. I will link this below if it's your vibe, but I like that it's a little cropped. It's super cute. Okay, this thing is all wonky, and I can't fix it right now. But I thought that I would show you the pajamas. They're cute. They're really cozy. Um, they're like that tensile kind of vibe, like that really soft cotton. And I think that the it's like a groovy pattern. I'm into it. They're cute. These are an extra large from Nordstrom. Um, yeah. And that's all. I'm just going to try this. This absolutely does not go, but I just wonder if it fits. This little blazer I just showed you guys. I do just think it's like really pretty and a classic and I love the lining on it. Let's just try it on. Why not? Not sure how the extra large is going to fit. Sometimes I feel like it can be a little small in the arms and stuff. It's cute. It feels a little snug in the arms, um, but she's pretty. Um, I do love this patch. It's so cute. Uh, um, thanks for hanging out yesterday and today. It's been a little bit like all over the place you should see this living room right now it's a mess um but yeah stay tuned there's gonna be more closet clean out styling videos some um fall style uh like try-ons and all the other stuff so uh i will catch you guys in the next video thank you for watching and take good care of yourselves because you deserve it bye